How's it going everybody? So today in this video, I'm going to state some facts that the majority of society are completely ignorant to and uh, it doesn't make sense for them to be ignorant to, but they are. So, listen, healthy eating is so much cheaper than unhealthy eating, okay? Let me say that again. You go to the grocery store and you buy nothing but healthy foods and I don't mean like the, per the most healthiest thing you buy. I mean the basic ne necessary level of health. You go to the grocery store and you buy the basic healthy nutritional foods. It's gonna be so much cheaper than if you're to buy um, uh, sodas, if you're to buy, if you're gonna get the dollar menu from the McDonald's, um, you know, buy packaged foods, frozen foods, TV dinners, uh, processed meats, all these things, okay? Healthy eating, no matter how you do it, is gonna be a lot cheaper than unhealthy eating no matter what, okay? So let me, let me, let me continue, okay? Let me explain. So, there's different levels of unhealthy eating and there's different levels of healthy eating. The basic, okay, and, 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 and we can go perfect, right? Perfect health, I could tell you the ins and outs of all different ideologies on what is healthy and what is not. Okay. There's different ways to do it. There's like the paleo diet, there's Mediterranean, there's vegan, there's even the carnivore diet now. And, and there's a lot of different things to say about all of those. But at, at a baseline, you don't have to go to the extreme on any of these. Okay, I'm, okay so the baseline amount of uh, healthy, healthy nutrition is very affordable and it will definitely make you healthier and increase your energy It'll help you work harder. It'll help you um, have the energy to get through your work day. And it will also increase your motivation and your willpower so that you can make more money in the long term. So it'll be cheaper, it'll be healthier than this than whatever what the unhealthy shit is. Be way healthier. Um, it's not perfect, it's not like all organic or anything, but it will help you increase your health and your energy and help you make money and it's already cheaper all at the same time and it's not even perfect okay now there's the unhealthy eating okay and this can mean many things okay but at a baseline um, vegetable oils uh, processed foods uh, sh processed sugar and refined flour these are the main things you want to remove you want to remove hydrogenated oils of all kinds as well um, so what I've seen, what I've noticed, okay, a lot of these people who say healthy eating is too, exp is too expensive. I see them, they go to Starbucks and they spend two to five dollars on some kind of bullshit coffee drink, which is full of, of, uh, unhealthy fat, it's full of processed sugar, and it's overpriced coffee. You can buy a pound of coffee, of good coffee, for six dollars, okay? It could be real cheap and you could buy like the, like you can buy like, uh, uh, ground coffee from like coast from like Mexico for like two dollars and it's not bad I have a I have some of that it's vacuum sealed okay two dollars for a pound of ground coffee that you can make yourself compared to two dollars per cup of coffee from Starbucks what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> really especially and, and, and healthy eating is too expensive my ass okay another thing is they'll go to McDonald's and they'll they'll buy um, you know, they'll buy burgers off the dollar menu, right? Or not McDonald's, but whatever. I don't, I've never, been, I haven't been to fast food in a long time. So don't, so I don't remember what's on the value menu or whatever. Okay. But just this example, just keep this in mind. They go to the fucking whatever, Burger King, whatever it is, and they'll buy a burger for a dollar. Usually that one burger is not enough to fill them up. But even if it is, it's still cheaper to buy a pound of beef from the grocery store. It doesn't have to be organic or grass fed to be healthier than Burger King, okay? So, um, the dollar menu burgers are usually less than a quarter pound, okay? They're, they're not very, you know, and then they've got, they're cooked with a lot of salt, vegetable oil, uh, preservatives, and uh, they're on a, a bun, right? 
and there's a lot of like uh, vegetable oils and deep fried nonsense with a lot of these and if you get french fries the bad thing about french fries is that they're deep fried in vegetable oil and they're salted like a motherfucker this is very unhealthy and this is why heart disease is so high in modern society because of the vegetable oils because of the deep fried foods mainly and the abnormal amounts of processed salt and processed sugar okay and even uh, for a dollar if you're getting a soda with, with whether it's diet or with sugar that's directly contributing towards disease and it's giving your body no nutritional value at all and, and the calories you get from sugar it doesn't even matter because this is going to cause your energy levels to go down why would you spend two dollars on you know fried french fry you know fried potatoes and sugar why why would you spend a dollar on sugar when you're concerned about saving money what's wrong with you what the fuck is wrong with you you think healthy eating is too expensive but you're spending a dollar on a soda your brain is messed up from all this junk okay <laughs> Why don't you save that? I mean, and, and, and even if you're not buying the sodas, even if you're, buy, if you're not buying the french fries, you buy three of those little ass hamburgers from the dollar menu, okay? You're not, it's probably like a half a pound of meat, right? For $3. You can buy a pound of um, like 80% lean beef, ground beef from the grocery store where I live for $2.50, for $3 maximum. If you buy ground beef for three dollars a pound, you know you're going to be able to feed yourself and your family for one meal with that. You can you can eat you can you can use that for the entire day and you have a meal. And a lot of people think that meat is unhealthy, blah blah blah. But listen, that ground beef that you spend three dollars on a pound of ground beef is going to be much healthier, and it will cause you to lose weight. If you eat nothing but ground beef, I know this is stupid. If you eat nothing but ground beef. No matter how much you would eat, you will lose a lot of weight. But if you eat those three hamburgers a day, if you eat those three hamburgers for every meal instead of the ground beef, you're going to uh, have higher amounts of inflammation in the body that can be measured by blood tests and you'll lose less weight. If anything, you'll gain weight. Okay. If you're eating McDonald's every day compared to cooking home, home cooked meals, trust me that McDonald's uh, no matter, you know, like three dollar menu hamburgers, it's more expensive and it's definitely going to make you have um, sugar crashes in the future. You're going to feel like shit with all that salt, um, the vegetable oils and all that. But if you just buy a pound of ground beef, you're saving money and you can meal prep, okay? You can, you can cook it the night before. It's only going to take you 15 minutes to, to cook your meals, to cook your meal for the next day and then put it in Tupperware. Okay, it's going to be so much healthier than the fast food burger. This is the thing. It's about relevance. It's about relativity. It's about buying your food from the grocery store and saving twenty dollars. You know, like twenty dollars a day. It's going to be cheaper and healthier for you than fast food or um, a frozen TV dinner. Okay, it's about this compared to that, okay? You will save money compared to what you're normally doing, and you will be healthier, you will feel it, okay? People who, 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 who disagree with this, they've never tried this shit before, or they're, they're not shopping right, like they're buying a bunch of bullshit, okay? So there's that, okay? Then there's people who buy TV dinners from, from the grocery store, okay? Usually these TV dinners, okay, first of all, when you buy cheap food, you have to realize it costs like a penny for them to make a lot of this bullshit. It costs like 10 cents for the company to produce a lot of these TV dinners and nonsense. The majority of what you're buying when you buy any kind of processed food is sugar and it's wheat flour. This shit is so cheap. If you bought the same ingredients from the store yourself, You'd be spending, you'd be spending like, for a pound of, of white flour, it's like 50 cents, a dollar. I don't know, I don't buy white flour. I, I don't recommend you eating flour anyway. But it's a dollar to buy a pound of flour. 
Okay. It's it's a, a dollar for a pound of pasta. Let's let's put it this way. It's a dollar for a pound of pasta, right? And people think, oh, ramen noodles, bro. It's twenty five cents per per package. Look, man, in a package of ramen noodles, first of all, you're addicted to the MSG and the flavoring, and that shit's so bad for you. Okay, no matter what your dietary paradigm is, if you're eating ramen noodles, you're fucked. You're you're not you're you're crazy. <laughs> Twenty five cents or even fifteen cents for a package of ramen noodles, dude. Would it really kill you to spend a dollar on a pound of just regular pasta? It could be white, it could be wheat, even organic pasta. Now it's like a dollar for a pound. I don't recommend pasta, but a pound of a plain pasta. Pot, like regular like pasta is going to be so much healthier for you than even the the raw noodle and ramen noodles You don't even know what they do with that shit, especially with the seasoning. Okay If you take if you buy um, pot like like plain pasta, right? And you buy like um, I don't know some oregano Maybe some Himalayan salt or even some sea salt or you buy like um, I don't know some really cheap uh, like tomato paste, right? You could add the seasonings yourself and, and you know make your own sauce, whatever, and make the pasta yourself. It's going to be so much cheaper and light years healthier for you. And, and most raw ramen noodles, from what I remember when I used to look at these things and care, um, they, they use vegetable oil in the noodle, okay? That's how they make them crispy, but it's been a long time, so I could be wrong. Um, the way that they make the noodle, it's so much more inflammatory for your body. It's much worse for you goes right through you and it's not good for your digestive system you know and this is another thing is all these people oh well, unhe uh, healthy eating is so expensive blah 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 they're suffering from all these crazy like health conditions even depression like these people don't realize depression is directly influenced by what you put into your body it's a, it's a fact of science okay um, neurotransmitters okay these are the chemicals that can make you happy or sad or angry Neurotransmitters, you get them from food, okay? They're, a pro they're, a, they're formed from the amino acids and protein that you eat and combination with the minerals and vitamins you get from your fruits and vegetables, okay? The food you eat can combine neurotransmitters. If your diet is lacking in nutrition, you're not gonna be able to create these neurotransmitters and you'll end up depressed, your sleep will be off, you have brain fog all day, and you will not, you don't even understand what feeling normal means. Because you're not eating a, a normal human diet. You're eating a bunch of nonsense. And people have like um, these dumb things like high blood pressure. Oh Jesus, this, that's the simplest thing to, 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 to solve. This is usually caused by too much sugar, um, too much unhealthy fats, uh, food intolerances by the way and lots and lots of processed meat, like sodium byproducts, nitrates and things like that, they will definitely bump up your blood sugar. Another thing that will is improper breathing and uh, stress and overall uh, unhealthy lifestyle, okay? So that's very easy to, to solve and everyone thinks they have to take blood pressure medication. Oh God, you're killing yourself and it's all because of your ignorance. It's all because of your lack of logic towards life <laughs> this really weird idea that eating healthy is 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 going to cost you more money and it's going to be a burden okay so i can give you many many examples okay but like when you buy like tv dinners i'll finish this one you know it's usually like some type of wheat based product or even white rice based product and then a bunch of like uh processed dairy um and whatnot Okay, usually it's very low in nutrition and it'll tell you it's a great source of calcium or something. That's because they add vitamins and minerals to this crap. And added vitamins and minerals and isolated vitamins and minerals, multivitamins and these things, um, is very questionable whether your body can even absorb that as it is. So anyway, you can buy a pound of rice for 60 cents, a pound of white rice for 60 cents. You buy three pounds of jasmine rice for like two dollars okay and white rice in my opinion is better than brown rice and there's many reasons why okay mainly because it's easier to digest and it actually allows for better mineral absorption 
but you have to read, watch my other videos to understand that. Um, you know, buying um, like chicken, like fresh chicken, is going to be a lot better than processed chicken, like deli meats. Um, fresh chicken is going to be better than buying like a, a frozen chicken breast with all the salt and nonsense. And it's going to be so much cheaper. Okay, you can usually get uh, chicken quarters for like seventy cents. Okay, at least where I live, but a dollar at the maximum. And, and one chicken quarter should be enough for most people to, to eat and feel full, even without anything else. Then you can add some jasmine rice, or, or really, if you really have to, you could add some pasta, but I would not recommend it. Um, let's say, um, uh, let's just say a half a cup of rice, um, one pound of chicken quarter, and um, like a handful of organic spring mix, okay? That meal will probably cost you, shit, like a dollar, okay? As in like all of the bulk materials in, uh, taken down into one meal, that meal will cost you no more than a dollar, okay? Uh, a half a cup of jasmine rice, uh, a chicken quarter, and then like a handful of spring mix, okay? You're going to get so much more nutrients out of that, and you're going to get much less pain, gas, bloating, which by the way, if you're always farting and you're always bloated, that's a problem. That's not normal. It only seems normal because everybody has it. That's because everyone eats a bunch of junk and you know they eat a lot of foods they're intolerant to. Like A lot of people can't digest beans and broccoli and whatnot, and they think it's okay. They think it's normal, but it's not okay. After two weeks of eating a certain food, you should not have digestive problems with it. Um, but yeah, that, that, that meal will only cost you a dollar. It's gonna be so much healthier for you compared to a TV dinner, compared to uh, fast food, you know, compared to all this nonsense, fried chicken, tacos, anything like that, okay? And there is a way to eat out and, you know, still be healthy, but saving money and eating out doesn't really work very well, but you can. Um, so, you know, and that, just with that example right there, you're, you're, you're definitely not spending more than $3 for one meal. So, you know, the thing is though, so without a doubt, it is definitely cheaper to eat this way. It is definitely cheaper to eat healthy. The problem people run into is that they're, they're like, oh, well, I got to go to work and, you know, how am I supposed to eat healthy, eat these, these home cooked meals when I have work all day? Well, there's a couple things you can do. First of all, you can meal prep, and this is what my girlfriend does. My girlfriend, she, she works 10-hour um, shifts every day, and she works uh, five to seven days a week, okay? Well, it depends. Actually, it probably depends. Some weeks she, she has a long off time because sometimes business is slow where she works. She makes good money, though. But um, she has, you know, she ha she's up on her feet all day uh, attending to customers, okay? She she works in a in a customer and and basically she a hands on um, with other people yada yada she has to constantly be up on her feet okay she's busy all day she doesn't have time to cook or even microwave things at sometimes so but she still she meal preps okay the night before uh, for me I do all the cooking so I'll cook a badass healthy uh, simmered you know, or steamed rice uh, vegetable meat dish and I'll cook extra meat and extra vegetables and she'll take the the meat and vegetable uh, the meat and vegetables that I cooked the night before and and we eat real fancy real healthy we eat uh, organic grass-fed you know and you don't have to do that to be healthy it is, it is ideal but you don't have to do that okay and, and I myself I eat the healthiest highest quality foods I can get okay but even I will tell you like dude you don't have to be healthy even though I spend a shit ton of money on on super healthy highest quality food I can buy I still don't tell people like, hey, you gotta be like me, you know? There's a way to be healthy with all sorts of different ways, okay? My only concern is when people don't wanna be healthy and they, their logic is stupid. Their logic is like, oh, it's too expensive. Oh, I don't have time. Like, please, go back to preschool, you damn three-year-old. Like, like, that's totally immature, absolutely immature. I hate hearing that. They sound like little three-year-olds to me. Oh, you, you know, too expensive, but you don't have enough time. You remind me of my my, uh, my little nephew, three years old. You sound like a damn three-year-old. Seriously, grow the fuck up. <laughs>
Yeah, man. They think that they're they're oh, I'm so you know you don't understand how my life blah blah blah. It's just because you're young. Shut the fuck up, bro. You sound three. God. Um, but you can meal prep like my girlfriend does the day before, or I meal prep for her. I cook the food for her. But you can do it. It only takes 15 minutes to. It doesn't even take that long. It takes five minutes to 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 steam up to simmer some some meat and vegetables together and you could even uh, you could you could make a, a cup of rice just how it says on the on the package um, and then you can add some meat and vegetables on top of that rice and cook them all together and steam the meat and vegetables with the rice and you could literally it just takes five minutes to put the to, to put the the rice in the water and then put the meat and the vegetables and the seasoning on top of it. It takes like five, 10 minutes maximum to set that up. And then you just let it simmer for 20 minutes and you don't even have to be there. Literally it takes 10 minutes to cook that. <laughs> you can go do whatever you need to. You know, you could play with your kids, you can go read a book, you can go uh, watch TV if you're, if you're one of those low conscious people who has to be distracted all the time, which is really sad. Being, you can go scroll through Facebook like a damn crack addict. Like, oh god, what, what is, what is everyone doing? Oh god, oh look at that meme. Oh, it's so funny. Uh huh. Like, 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 like. God damn, crazy crack addict people. <laughs> crazy, crazy people. You could go do that. Go be a zombie for a while. But look, it takes 20 minutes to do that shit to cook that that food, and then you eat that shit for dinner, and then you put some in Tupperware. For the next day and then you can eat that at work you can you know I don't like microwaves but if that's all you have access to it's going to be so much better for you than all the processed crap it's gonna be better for you than going to a vending machine better for you than going to uh, McDonald's or whatever fried chicken whatever it is it's gonna be better better than than frozen meals way better okay and it's gonna be cheaper and it's going to be more delicious if you know how to cook like I do. Um, so, really, it's not that hard. The problem is that you're telling yourself it's hard, and you're not opening your mind to ways to make it easier. You're not looking like, oh, how can I make this easier for myself? How can I make it cheaper for myself? How can I make it healthier? How can this benefit my life? You're not operating from a growth mindset, so of course you're going to be fucked up, and you're going to say some dumb shit. Oh, no, fruit is so expensive. Bitch, don't buy fruit. <laughs> Seriously. You know, you're not missing anything, even though people try to say you need, you need fruit and whatever. Okay, it's about relativity, okay? How, how much healthier and cheaper will, will things be if I, eat, if I eat the meat, vegetable, and rice diet like Wolfgang does compared to the nonsense that I usually do, the ramen noodle, uh, TV dinner, malnourishment, give myself heart attack and diabetes diet, seriously. And really, really, you can meal prep, okay, and you'll be fine. You'll be so much better off. And after like a month of doing this, you know, no matter what you think, after a month of doing this, you're gonna be like, what the, f I, I saved so much money doing this, what the hell? And you're gonna be like, wow, I lost 20 pounds without even exercising, wow. And you'll be like, wow, I have so much energy. I don't even drink coffee in the morning anymore. <laughs> you know? You'd be like, wow, like I don't feel like crap throughout work anymore. Wow, I don't have those digestive problems anymore. Wow, I got I I didn't have to take as much insulin or as much of my blood pressure medications. You're gonna wonder why you never did this in the first place. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you know you your mind was all messed up. You're like, oh shit, it's too hard, blah. God damn, really? You're gonna add 20 years to your life. You're gonna love your life more. Your quality of life will improve. Quantity of life will improve. You'll save so much money. You can't do this simple shit. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Grow up. Take responsibility for your life. Look up the definition of responsibility and realize that you're not doing that for yourself. And you, you if you have kids and you're, t you're trying to parent your kids but you can't even take care of yourself, man, that's so sad and pathetic. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and one more thing, you can actually just not eat, right? You can do, I mean, sorry, fasting is better. Uh, like, that sounds so stupid. Just don't eat, bro. Be a breathitarian. Definitely don't be a breathitarian. Fasting, though. Intermittent fasting. Now, people with blood sugar problems, 
they're not going to be able to do it. It's going to feel too hard for them. Okay, if you can't, if you can't, if you can't go um, 16 hours without eating, then you probably have insulin resistance in some kind of form. You've got problems. Okay, you've got health problems already. You should be able to go at least 14 hours without eating. But 16 hours is ideal, and for me, I tend to go about 18 hours, depending on the day. Well, it depends, actually. I'm an athlete, so I tend to go 14 at a minimum. But um, that will make it so much easier for you to, for one, you'll save money, because you're only eating you know, maybe twice a day. Number two, you don't have to worry about meal prepping or what you're gonna eat at work, because during work, you should be fasting. And you could do little things like you can um, uh, you can do like bulletproof coffee, which I think is actually I've it's actually changed my life. A lot of people they're scared because of the information they've heard about cholesterol and fat, and I understand it, 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 and it's understandable unless you were vegan for a long time and you realize how horrible that it that can be, um, like I did. But um, you could fast during work, okay, and then when you get home, make yourself a badass meal. Or go get some grilled chicken or rotisserie chicken or something and some rice and some vegetables. Okay, and then eat healthy when you get home. Eat home cooked meals when you get home. Boom, you're saving money and you're actually, you know, you don't have to worry about eating and blah, blah, blah. It's more convenient. But another thing people don't know is that intermittent fasting actually has some significant uh, benefits on your health. And seriously, the people who think that intermittent fasting is bad for you, do not listen to them. Okay, this has been proven by science. And sorry, I got a crick in my neck. This has been proven by science uh, through mechanistic data as well as clinical trials and um, meta analysis and other things. It's been proven by science, many different forms of, of research, not just population data, like a lot of the veganism and other weird um, research data. It's been proven by many different forms of science and mechanistic data as well. There's something called uh, effigy, where your body basically uh, eats its own cells and recreates them. So if you didn't know, like um, a lot of diseases, autoimmune diseases, but especially cancer, is a disease where um, old cells, they grow out of control. And they have trouble breaking down and recycling the cell, essentially. And so fasting actually improves your cells' ability to recycle. And this hypothetically can re, uh, possibly prevent cancer. And there's been a lot of people who have uh, experimented with curing or reversing cancer using this. And uh, there's a lot of studies that actually show that it has strong benefits in cancer. And there's people that use it and claim that it reverses cancer, but that's questionable. But it, it has, especially for blood sugar, because you're training your body to go so long without carbohydrates and without food. Number one, it allows the pancreas to heal. And this is, this is just obvious facts. It allows the pancreas to heal. It allows the digestive system to have some rest. Um, and there's no blood sugar spikes of any kind from the time you go to bed until you eat again. Fasting is great, and it's a very powerful health tool, and also it'll help you lose, lose body fat. Um, and it has very positive impact on growth hormone and your hormonal profile, as well as your cholesterol and your fasting glucose. And it'll make things easier for you when you're at work, and it'll make things easier for you uh, with your money and your health. So that's a great option right there. And for anyone who really wants to know how to be perfect with nutrition, Oh, well, there's a lot of things I can I can recommend, but I'm gonna uh, look for my 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 channel name in the search bar with nutrition or perfect diet or what best diet or whatever, and you'll see a lot of my videos. I'll make a new one soon. I'll let you all know what I'm doing right now in the future. Uh, just keep in mind that a lot of the science that you that you'll read or a lot of the the mainstream um, guidelines, like oh avoid fat or oh avoid all carbs and all these things avoid fruit like a lot of these are just nonsense okay and and they're not as practically um, uh, proper as they may sound you know no matter how much science you got and, and by the way science is very important if you read the science if you don't read the methodology behind the studies you don't read these things and you just believe whatever people say because it's backed by science like 
you don't know what you're doing. Okay? Don't just believe things people tell you. You need to research these things. If you go to your grocery store right now and you look at all the items I mentioned, like the, the rice, the, the five pounds of broccoli, of frozen broccoli, you can get it for like five bucks. That'll last you forever. You know, um, five pounds of, 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 of carrots, you can get that for like five bucks. It'll last you forever. Five pounds of rice, like two to five bucks, last you forever. Five pounds of ground beef is gonna be pretty expensive. It'll be like 13 bucks. It lasts you forever. And it's gonna be so much healthier for you and better for you. And you'll feel so you'll feel so much better on this compared to the junk food crap. Especially in combined with fast with fasting. So whatever. You know, if you wanna you wanna go crazy in the comment section, let me know how much of an idiot I am. Please do so. Because I feel like if you if you can't see the logic behind what I'm saying, I, I don't see how anyone can have like a a sensible disagreement to this like it, it just doesn't make any sense I really feel like if someone if people think that this is nonsense you know they probably have some really bad like delusion going on in their brain like it's just crazy and that's the main reason why I haven't made videos like this it's because I know I'm gonna get a bunch of dumbasses in the comment section telling me a bunch of dumb things but um, I can't care about these people if I really if I really want to help people I gotta be okay with the nonsense uh, bullshit people like the dumb comments like oh put a shirt on dude go fucking go to go get some some psychological help because my I shouldn't be hurting your feelings right so anyway yeah leave your comments down below let me know what you think subscribe if you haven't already lots of great videos like this and I'll talk to you in the meantime